Guys, check this out. I can control this light with my phone. So if I want to change the color, for example, I can change the color all with my phone. I can also change the brightness. I can switch it to a CCT mode. Adjust the brightness again, the Kelvin value, cold, warm, really quickly. All right, today I'm going to share with you my experience with the Unbeatful A1 Pocket RGB light after using it for about a week. Quick disclaimer, Unbeatful sent me this Pocket RGB light completely for free for a video review, but this video is not sponsored. All right, so first of all, I want to start with the price. Uh, on Amazon, this light will cost you $120. And on AliExpress, it will cost you $100. Links, of course, would be down below in the description. It's definitely not cheap. It's not a budget pocket RGB light, but I think it's really worth the price for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's really color accurate, at least from the tests that I've done. It's much more color accurate, actually, than my Falcon SF7 pocket RGB light, which was my best pocket RGB light. And I think this one is actually better. It's pretty bright. The build quality is great. It has this built-in cantilever arm, if that's how you say it. The battery life is great. It's not the best, but I think it's actually okay. You can also use this light as a power bank, and obviously you can control this light within an app. Now let me go a little bit more in depth with information about this Unbeatful A1 Pocket RGB light, so you'll know exactly what you're going to get if you're gonna get one for yourself. First of all, I want to share with you what comes in the box really quickly. Obviously manuals, and then you have a carrying case, a soft carrying case, which is nice. You get a USB-A to USB-C cable to charge the light. Oops. And then you get this annoying cold shoe mount to quarter inch. I never use these things because they always get loose. They always make the light wobble and they never actually hold the light properly. And finally, you also get a diffuser. All right, now the build quality and the weight. The light is completely built out of metal or aluminum, aluminum, however you say it in your country. And it feels really sturdy, really strong, and I believe it will survive pretty much forever. And although it is built out of metal, it's not too heavy. It weighs about 337, 38 grams, at least according to my kitchen scale, which is not that bad considering you also have this cantilever uh, ball head adjustment arm. Okay, now let's move on to battery and ports. According to Unbeatful, you should get around two hours of battery life on full brightness with the Unbeatful A1. And for my test, this is exactly what you're going to get if you're going to use it at 100% of brightness around two hours of battery life on CCT mode. And if you're going to use RGB mode, I believe you're gonna get a little bit more than two hours, maybe like two and a half hours. It takes about three and a half hours to charge the light according to Unbeatful. And also, if you want to, you can charge the light while actually using it. So if you have a power bank or something like that, you can plug in your power bank to this light, use it at the same time, and also charge it, which is really handy. And the final battery feature is that you can use this light actually as a power bank if you want to charge your phone or other accessories, which is really nice. I have about five or seven pocket RGB lights and none of them have this feature. At least I think so. Okay, now let me show you how the Unbeatful application works on a phone and also what uh, light features you have on the Unbeatful A1. First of all, let's start with the CCT mode. You can control obviously the brightness very easily as you can see with barely any delay. It's working really fast and smooth. Then you can control the Kelvin value of the light from 2500 Kelvin up to 8500 Kelvin. And then you have here at the bottom some presets. You have 3000, 4000, 5200 Kelvin, 5500, 6000, 7000. And you can also put your own custom presets. So for example, if I want a preset with 7900 Kelvin, I can dial it in, click OK, and I'm going to have this preset in here. All right, now let's move on to the HSI mode, which is basically RGB. Again, you have brightness, a brightness slider, and then here you can just drag your finger around this color ball and you can change the color. If I want red, I can go to red, pink, green, yellow, or whatever. All right, now let's move on to the scene mode, which is basically effects. You have 29 effects, and again, you can control and adjust the brightness for each effect individually. You can also select the speed of the effect, so you can select slow, 
you can select normal and you can also select fast and you have 29 effects. Let me run through them really quickly. You have flash, fireworks, you have burst, you have blink, you have flame, paparazzi, TV, weld, curve one, curve two, curve three, curve four, CTC, alarm, movie, rainbow, bar, birthday, fairy tale, grassland, surf, aurora. I don't even know how to pronounce it with my Russian accent. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, cyan, blue, purple. Right, now let me do a couple of tests with this light to show you how color accurate it is and also to show you how bright it is. Okay guys, so here on the left, I have the Unbeatful A1 Pocket RGB light. It's set to 5500 Kelvin with 50% of brightness. And here on the right, I have the Falcon SF7 which is my most color accurate pocket RGB light and it's set again to 5500 Kelvin with 49, 50% of brightness and my camera is set to 5500 Kelvin costume white balance as well. Let me now turn off the Falcon Eyes F7 so you'll be able to see how they differ from each other when it comes to color accuracy. So I'm going to turn off the F7 and this is how the Unbeatful A1 looks like. I think I should increase the brightness a bit more to about, I would say, like 80%, something like that. And I'm going to turn off the Unbeatful light. This is how the F7 looks like. It has a bit of a green tint to it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but with my eyes I can see a little bit of a green tint with this light. I'm gonna turn it off and turn this one on, the A1. And as you can see, this one looks much more color accurate. It looks much more white than this one. But this one is less brighter than this one. All right, so now finally, let me show you a couple of things that you can do with the Unbeatful A1 to make your shots a little bit more interesting and poppy, so to speak. So as you can see, at the moment, this shot looks pretty boring. It does not look bad. It just looks pretty boring because the background is really dark and I am bright and it looks just boring to me. So let's make it a little bit more interesting with Unbeatful A1. First of all, I'm going to use it as a background light to just illuminate the background and separate myself from the background a little bit more. So luckily, I don't have to go back and forth to adjust the brightness of the light. I can use the application, which is again very handy. So I can adjust the brightness if I want to. Okay, and I'm going to set it to RGB mode and I can change the color if I want to. Let's see which one looks good. Red looks kinda slick. I can adjust the brightness. This is 100% of brightness and I think around here looks kinda interesting. So this is one way to use a pocket RGB light to make your shot a little bit more interesting. And as you can see right now, it just makes, it just separates me from the background a little bit more. And obviously I can change the color to blue, for example, very popular. Teal, green, yellow, orange. I'll just the brightness if I want to. Very nice. And I can also switch it to CCT mode and adjust the brightness. Maybe adjust the Kelvin value to see something that I like, like this plain white, very simple. And again, separates me more from the background. Now I'm going to try to use this light as a kicker light. Let's see how that works. So right now the light is behind me on the right side at 45 degrees, more or less. And I can adjust the brightness again to separate me more from the background. Although the background is not really bright, Still, using a light as a kicker light separates me more from the background because it's giving me light over here, as you can see. I want to turn it off. So light on the side separates me more from the background and also in here. And I can obviously adjust the color if I want to make it warm and nice, very cool. Or I can switch it to RGB, put it in red or is it pink? Yeah, it's pink. 
something like that to separate it more again from the background. And now the last thing that you can do with Unbeatful A1, I mean, there is infinite possibilities to do with a pocket RGB light, but that's the last one that I'm going to show you today. You can simply shine the light at the ceiling to illuminate the room and raise the overall light ambience in the room. So right now the light is pointing at my ceiling and it's at about 2% of brightness. And as you can see, I can increase the brightness and just illuminate more the room by bouncing the light from the ceiling back to the room. And also actually it looks kind of cool. Like having light just on this side looks kind of nice. Again, I can switch it to some colors just to add a certain look or whatever to teal. It's actually very nice controlling a light with an app. It's very useful. I don't have to stand up and adjust everything. Super useful. And if you want to add some effects, like maybe, where's lightning or whatever, let's do flame, like a flame effect. So you basically get the idea. You can do so many things with a pocket RGB light. I would highly recommend you to have at least one pocket RGB light in your arsenal. And if you have the budget, I would highly recommend to buy the Ambitful A1. It's a great light. It's not as bright as the Falcon SF7, but like I said, it's color accurate. The app is great. The battery life is not bad. You can use it as a power bank. It has its own built-in uh, cantilever arm or like a mounting arm thing. And I think it's a great light and it's really worth the price.